guys and welcome to my first ever um full video i usually make youtube shorts and like it's like my digital art and stuff but today i decided to make a long video <clears throat> because i want to test out my cheap 20 dollar um double-sided markers so these are the markers that i'm on about Okay, so I've opened them up already, and I have used these before, but these are the first time I'm using them, like actually drawing something and then trying to color it. So these are what the markers look like. Uh, it's like an A set. I got these for like $20 off of Amazon, and um, I'm just gonna like show you what it looks like. So they look like this. Um, all the colors are labeled, and they're both double-sided, so like there's a thin side, and then there's a thick side. First, I'm gonna swatch a couple of these. So I have like four markers and these are the colors that I chose and I'm just gonna swatch them. Okay, so on one side, I'm gonna swatch the thick side. So this is the pink color. Um, okay, they're actually all right to be honest, but I think the only problem with these is that the leak through. So I have like another paper underneath. So if I like lift that up. <laughs> It, it definitely like bled, bled through the page and like that's the thing I don't like about markers because then it just becomes like really difficult to blend out and even more like they bleed through the other page um honestly right now this is like thin A4 paper but I want to see how it would work on like you know um drawing paper which I have in my sketchbook so we'll try it out in that Okay, so this was like a quick sketch I did and I outlined it with fine liner and now I'm just going to use my like these cheap $20 markers and I'm going to color it and then I'm going to see at the end if it bleeds through the page because this is like drawing paper, it's a sketchbook so like the paper is actually pretty thick so if it bleeds through I'd be quite surprised as the paper is pretty thick to be honest and like um a marker should not be able to bleed through this so if it does i'd be quite surprised okay so i'm gonna oops i'm gonna start off with the top bit of her hair and i'm gonna use this darker brown for like the roots area so i'm gonna start over here and i'm just gonna do like the roots bit and then hopefully i'll just make it like lighter over here and then darker going towards the bottom so i'll do the hair first and see how this works out okay so i've drawn the hair and the process was actually not that bad to be honest these markers are really cheap and i just think that blending them out is super super difficult usually like with more expensive markers the quality is obviously better because they're more expensive but they are really easy to blend out but these are not that easy to blend, especially when you're using two different colors. They do not blend into each other that good. They just overlap and become patchy. I honestly really tried blending these, especially you can see like in this area that um, I really did try blending super easy. I'm just gonna use my pencil to like point it out. But in like this area, I really tried blending it out and like these areas and these areas, but um, it just becomes patchy to be honest and it's like kind of difficult but overall my experience with these are actually not that bad for $20 I really recommend these like um I want to not buy these for like a really detailed piece of artwork that I'm really gonna cherish but honestly if you're looking for an affordable option then these markers are honestly they're so good I really really recommend these Okay, so now what I'm worried about is doing the skin because I don't want the skin to be patchy, especially if I'm going to be like blending colors for like contour and stuff. Okay, so in the end, I chose this 
fairly beige color for the skin because all these other colors they are skin colors but they're like either really olivey tones or they're like super super orange and i don't want to make her skin orange um if i do do any contour i'm gonna use like some darker color to do like the shading around her nose or like her neck area um i will do that but um for now i just chose this color to do the skin okay so um i'm not gonna lie these markers are actually not that bad as you can see the shading is okay it's not too bad um honestly though it's really difficult to blend with this i'm gonna see if i can use this it comes with a colorless blender so it's like a white marker and it's for blending so this nose one didn't turn out like that good so i'm going to use it to blend it and it does blend it but it also makes it like a bit lighter so like i'm just gonna go over this and use it and try to blend it this marker is specifically for blending okay so this actually um they actually turned out pretty good i like this drawing um also i just wanted like a little disclaimer i did not um draw this drawing from my mind um i actually watched a video a couple of years ago and i took inspiration from that and that's what this drawing is from and actually i drew this picture like a couple of years ago so this is not something that i drew today this was something that i sketched and outlined like a couple of years ago okay so i've completed the entire drawing and honestly i think it turned out really really good um, for $20, these markers are actually amazing. Um, if you want to purchase these, they're super affordable. So all you have to do, I don't mean to link it to be honest. All you have to do is go um, on Amazon and search up touch 80 piece double sided markers and they'll come up like, it's like, it's not exactly $20. It could be more or less, but it's around that exactly like maybe $22, $23 or maybe even $18. But it's definitely around that they're super affordable and honestly the drawing turned out pretty good okay so this is what the drawing turned out like i honestly think it turned out pretty good like the shading could be better not the best but honestly i think even the shading turned out really good and even on the clothes the shading is all right even though like you can see there's some messy parts as well but overall i think it's pretty good but yeah, that was all for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it.